Totally sports task. Major League. As of June 9th, Luis Arise is doing something that we have only seen seven times since 1941. He is hitting over 400 after a team's first 63 games, joining these six to put him in elite company. Of course, hitting over 400 at this point for anyone is surprising, but for anyone who has paid attention to Arise over the past few years would know, he is simply a pure hitter, and a rare breed in today's game. Arise is as much of a contact hitter as you can get. Last year, on his way to winning the batting title and denying Aaron Judge the Triple Crown, he had the least amount of strikeouts among qualified hitters with 43, and this year he is even better. Through the team's 63 games, Arise has only struck out 11 times while having 87 hits, giving him an insane strikeout to hit ratio of 7.9 to 1. For perspective, in second in this stat is Red Sox outfielder Masataka Yoshida with a strikeout to hit ratio of 2.8 to 1. And in the 239 plate appearances he's had, he's seen 839 pitches, and only swung and missed 29 times. And to go further on a rise being the definition of a contact hitter, he's only hit one home run in those 239 plate appearances, and in his 1808 career plate appearances, he's only hit 15 home runs. So to put it simply, Luis Arise is as close as you can get to a Tony Gwynn or a Rod Carew in today's game. But how did Arise take such a huge leap from his impressive numbers from last year? The logical reason would be the shift being taken away. But Arise is one of those rare players where shifting against him didn't work, and rarely happened anyways. For reference, last year, teams only shifted 13 times against Arise, and compare that to a player such as Anthony Rizzo, that is 432 less times. And even in those rare situations where teams shifted, Arise hit 460 last year. So the shift did next to nothing in stopping him. But perhaps the main factor in the rise of Arise is that he is simply swinging more. Arise has increased his swing percentage by 6% compared to his career average. Of course, this has led to a career high in chase percentage, but his chase contact percentage is above average and his batting average has increased on pitches outside the zone. So if Arise took the philosophy of swinging at more pitches this year, then the strategy has worked. And looking at another advanced stat, as of June 9th, Arise has an adjusted batting average of 161. And since 1900, no one has finished with a higher mark. Not since Napla Joy and Ty Cobb in 1910 has anyone hit past 154. And the context behind this advanced stat is important. The last few years have gave us league-wide batting averages comparable to the dead ball era, when hitters like Napla Joy, Ty Cobb, and Tris Speaker were standouts. The year of 2022 gave us the third lowest league-wide batting average since 1909, right behind 1967 and 1968, a time when pitchers led by Bob Gibson were so dominant that the MLB lowered the mound to give hitters a better chance. The year of 1968 also gave us the worst batting average by a league leader in MLB history, which was Carl Yastrzemski batting 301 to win the AL batting title. And the worst AL average by a batting champion since that time was Luis Arise in 2022. And just like 1968, the year following 2022 gave us new rules aimed to help hitters. But with these stats both advanced and standard, the question here is can Arise keep this up? If history tells us anything, then it's more than likely a no. Among those six players aside from Arise who hit over 400 through a team's first 63 games, only one would go on to hit over 400. That was Ted Williams in 1941, and he was also the last hitter to hit over 400 in a full season. And aside from Williams, on this list, everyone except Andres Galarraga finished below 370. And with baseball being the unfair game it is, Arise could easily fall into a slump and go well below the historic 400 mark. And since the end of April, Arise's batting average dropped 35 points until the time of June 9th. And of course, dropping 35 points on your batting average and still hitting over 400 is absolutely incredible. So even if Luis Arise doesn't keep up this insane pace, he is still on track to put up a historic season. Amidst a time of low batting averages, in part caused by more focus on home runs, analytics, and pitchers having more talent than ever before. And if Arise is able to pass the historic mark, a question we could ask is would this be more impressive than what Aaron Judge did last year with his 62 home runs? 
Both the 400 average and 62 home runs are historic feats, and even more so with historical context to back it up. But to even have this debate, Arise first has to keep up this pace. And really, if Arise even gets close to the 400 mark, then this debate can still ensue. But for now, we'll just have to stay tuned. And if you would like to know how hitters like Aaron Judge, Barry Bonds, Babe Ruth, or Hank Aaron would hit in the most friendly park of all time and make the 400 average look less significant, then watch my latest video to find out about a world in which everyone played at 1999 Coors Field. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you.